Okay, we are playing more um, Katari Fables today. So welcome in, welcome in. Let me get, um, whoa, let me get this set up here. While my phone's making all kinds of noises. So see if we can find like the next main mission because I don't know it didn't seem to be popping up unless this one with the merchant is a main mission I hope it isn't because it's very uh, very annoying to find out where they're when they're going to show up really um, I think it's I think this is a side mission I think what we have are just side missions right now guys Yeah. yeah. So both of those missions are for are for uh, the merchant that we can't find. Mad Ryan's in the house. What's up? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Welcome in. Here we go. Uh, we aren't planning anything right now because there's nothing we really need to plant. I suppose we should combine some of this. Vengeful souls. Alright, All right, let's see, um I don't know, I guess we'll go see if somebody has a mission. I don't I don't really know where to go. Obviously we can't do the merchant one yet because it's not nighttime. Um, it's not even showing me where I can go. Gladiator sword, uh, sunstone, ten thousand coins, silver. Sometimes it's a little after two in the afternoon for me. Oh, we have enough of this silver. We have ten of that. So we need to find sunstones and then money. And then we can actually get this gladiator sword. Uh, things I don't, I have no idea where sunstones are. I'm going to guess they're down by like the beachy area. So why don't we go back over there? Let me just see what's over here. Hello there, Star June. Hello, hello. Hello there, Dalton, who's uh, having fun with this Elden Ring boss still. From the looks of it. Whoa! Dropping all sorts of crap. Oh, what? They're already trying to kill me. Come on, game. I'm sure my tea is ready. Brewing some tea here. This is a Moroccan mint green tea. Still a little hot. Got to play. Gosh, anytime I try to do a move, that's when they use their attack to make it so I'm kind of stuck there to get hit. And we got one of them. I don't know what we need these hyena tokens for, but there we go. We'll see. Alright. Let's see if we can find Sunstone here. Uh, I don't. Problem is, there's like 8,000 enemies here. We also need a heck of a lot of money. If 
we get the sunstones, all we'll need is the um, the money then. Oh shoot. Like, could that be it? No. Not sure. How am I? I am fine. I'm doing pretty good. I am going to enjoy a nice chill stream today. Hope you're doing good, though, overall. I don't know when I'll be able to stream next, so I wanted to make sure I got one in today because I'm going to be not around for a few days. Um, so maybe Christmas Eve could be the next one. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I'll be able to stream tomorrow, so. Sunstones, where are you at? Because we haven't even found one of them, so where the heck are they going to go? Or where are they going to be? Also, why can't I teleport to this spot? Create a shortcut for that. Sunny. Wow, they're strong. Sunstones, though. I need a sunstone. Listen, so the game is giving me no direction of what to do next. It's just like everywhere I go, it doesn't seem to be something I can do. Maybe this here? Missing required key. Okay, so we can't go in there. Maybe the game's gonna require me to make all those keys for all these chests. That'd be pretty stupid, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So sunstones aren't over here. Did I bring any sunscreen? Of course I did. There's really there's nobody here that has a mission. Yeah. Let's go up here. 
I don't know, maybe we go back to Rivero Fortress, see if anybody's got anything to do there, unless we do have to do this merchant one. Which is like... Hey, 100 paw pennies, nice. this leads oh my gosh King Cobra G.I. Joe Can barely damage this thing. Wow, look at all these enemies here. Thing is, if I got rid of the hyenas, I feel like I could beat that snake, maybe. Look at this crap. There's there's like attacks coming in from every direction here. The whole screen is just a big red spot of attack for the enemy. Oh wow, look at that thing's doing. Jeez. Takes me so long to kill just one of these guys. I supposed to do like do I have to kill this guy maybe he's got sunstones or something I need. do they just keep respawning these hyenas too I don't have the opportunity to attack right now Hurting him. Jeez, jeez, jeez. <laughs> this is crazy. What the hell? <laughs> Hello, Arachna and Jack. Welcome in. Did I try looking it up? Um, I looked up the main mission list. I just don't know how to get to the next main mission. Uh, oh, I don't know. Hang on, I'm gonna look back at the main mission list. Because I don't think this merchant one is on the main mission list. I, don't, I just don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to kill that cobra at some point too. I know it. Like this game is making you destroy everything on the map to get some specific item. All right. So apparently there's like, I mean, there's a pretty hefty list of main missions. But let me see. Save the kid. Drop belongings, a package for Alby, the mysterious book, spell book, learning ma magic we've done. It doesn't even tell me what. What's the name of this one? Running an errand. Uh, the 
the cheeky merchant. Like none of these, neither of these um, missions are even on this walkthrough's mission list. Are we even talking about the same game here? Uh, yeah, running an errand, the cheeky merchant. No, it's. I'm gonna try looking at a different thing. Those missions are not on this this wiki or whatever. So I have no idea if they're even part of the main quest or not. Main Okay, hang on, I'm not a different one. This is main find the ancient relic, visit the fortress, all these stupid ads that pop up. Gathering materials, path to the north block tunnel. There's a, a cheeky merchant is a side quest. Oh yeah, there's a lot more main quests. Okay, I don't even know what the next one is because I don't. All right, so does it show me which ones I've done? Let's see if we can find what the last main mission was that we did. This this page at least shows me all the missions. The other one was well incomplete. It only showed like 13 main missions, and that was wrong. For the sick. I want to say Path to the North or Block Tunnel was the last one we did. Oh, okay, so I think these blue ones are probably the main ones. So Journey to Icy Mountain was the last one we finished. Yeah, so the next one would be investigate once more investigate what i have no idea that's all it says but there's like a gazillion uh <laughs> side quests in between this one and then the next main mission on this page above investigate once more it says investigate the beach area so that's where I just was. So I don't know. At least we know where we're at with that. I don't know how to trigger any of these these new these new missions though. So apparently the next main mission is called it Investigate Once More, but uh, we have no idea how to trigger it or where to even find it. The mission above it, which is a side mission, says Investigate the Beach Area, but. You know, again, that's just a side mission. It might have nothing to do with it. And we already just went down there. So there's probably someone specific we have to talk to. I don't know. It just sucks when you get like such so stuck in something. The game gives you no direction whatsoever. Like none of the characters we've talked to have given us anything else on where to go, what to do next. Is this the merchant? Finally! Alright, this is finally the merchant that we need. So we need to buy... What do we need? Well, I'll just talk to him. Huh. 
You know, we know you have pump pumpkins, pumpkin. 10,000 paw pennies for a pumpkin? Absolutely not. Oh my gosh. So if I didn't have, just because I don't have 20,000 paw pennies to pay for a pumpkin, I have to do a mission for him to get some rare materials. My goodness. If you can get me a pearl. Sure, I don't, where do I get, where do I get pearls from? This is a side quest too. Popo. Shamrock's here. We do need something from him though. We need pineapples. Alright, we need five pineapples, so yeah. Buy that. Should I get like. I could just, well, I don't know. I guess I won't buy anything else yet. He also has a bigger bag, but I don't have the money for it. Yeah. That's exciting. It's very, this is all very exciting. Yeah, Pearl probably costs way more than, than what a pumpkin's ever going to be worth. He's definitely a shady character. If he cheats me, he's going to turn into the smashing, the smashing pumpkin. The smashed pumpkin, I should say. Alright, uh, so where does this take us? Boss monster, see? Now I have to defeat one of those boss monsters like I was just trying to fight. I knew it. Just making sure I don't have a pearl already. Which I don't think I do. Oh my gosh. This game really has you running around in circles. these stupid pineapples. I guess we'll just go to sleep now. So then only do we have to find the pearl, then we gotta wait for Pumpkin to show back up just to give him the pearl. Hey, hey, hey. I hate how tedious this game is getting. But that comes with the nature of these type of games. Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, My Time of Portia. They all have tediousness to them. You kind of have to like, get used to it, I guess. Alright, go over here, let's water these again. 
I love that it doesn't even tell me which monster either. It just says fight the boss monsters. Like, it could be any of them. We can get the pineapple one done, I guess. I don't know. Still don't know where to find sunstone. Or... Onion rings. Nobody has a main mission for me. I still don't understand why you can't use all of the fast travel points. It doesn't, uh, it's weird. Like there's some that just don't show up whenever you want the fast travel. So you have to go to like, unless these are the ones that send you somewhere and then these are the ones that you can travel to, the empty ones. Maybe that's what it is. Still weird. Maybe I'll just give Pumpkin this Earth Sphere and tell him that it's a pearl. gotta go get a pearl. I mean, these are, again, I think that these are all side missions. I don't know how to get to the next main mission. Maybe it's like forcing me to do some of these before, like, it triggers the the main mission. I don't know. Let's, uh, I'm gonna guess that the snake is probably the one that drops the pearl. So let's go actually go fast travel over there. Not that we're going to be able to beat him, but, you know, because he's got like 50 henchmen with him. Yo, what's up, Multi Apples? Nice to see you again. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by so far. Alright, let's see if we can go get this dude. Again, I'm putting this game on in the hopes that we'll make some uh, some progress, but <laughs> if we don't, I guess we're going to be moving to another game rather quickly again. Oh yeah, thanks man. Yeah, hopefully everybody's enjoying the stream. Just chilling. Treasure Goblin. Maybe he has a pearl. Come on. Oh my god. 
gosh, what did he give me? Treasure Goblin didn't even give me anything. That sucks. King Cobra is going to get it now. Man, see, I can't fight him until I get rid of all these guys. It's really hard to get rid of these dudes. There's too many of them. And the snake hits me with his tornado. As good as dead. There's just too many enemies here. There we go. Sometimes I don't have time to dodge out of their attacks because I'm like locked into something. Oh my goodness, dude. Go, 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 go. Come, what? How'd that hit me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't, I'm like tired of the combat in this game, like, for real. Like, I want the game to just stop with the combat already. It's just... Look at this. <laughs> Stream died for a bit? Did it really? Did it reset itself? Huh. So it's back on now, right? Yeah, my OBS shows that it's still going, and then Twitch on my phone shows that it did reset. So that's weird. Sorry about that, guys, if it reset there. But it's back up now. Yeah. Probably, probably my internet, or, you know, it could be Twitch and one of its weird, funky glitches that... This is like... Kill some more of them. What even hit me there? See, I just gotta get rid of these dumb hyenas and I have a chance to maybe fight the cobra. If he doesn't hit me with. Oh, what the heck was that? What the? Oh my god. So glitchy, it's so glitchy. I got. It. <laughs> it's so glitchy. Why does this game have such a heavy emphasis on combat? When the combat isn't even good. It's like passable if it was like a few missions here and there, but when it's like everything you gotta do goes through fighting all these enemies, it's not, no, just, just stop already, honestly. This game needs to cool off. And when you have to fight everything to get anything you need, um, it means you can't upgrade your items, your weapons, your armor, unless you fight these enemies, so. Because they all have something that you need. I feel like we could have beaten the snake if those hyenas just don't keep showing up. Now I need to buy a bunch more omelets. try it again. I'm only doing this because I don't know what else to do right now in the game. Like, there's literally nothing else that I can do to progress anything. We've gone up to the mountains. We've gone down to the beach. We've gone all around. All those caves we found, we can't even get in any of them. So it's really weird. Like, there's nothing that we can do. There, I just spent, like, all my money on omelets. Hope you like eggs. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
At least Twitch like reset the stream and it like didn't just completely die <laughs> without me noticing. Back up here. So you have to do this whole walk and everything just to get back over there to try it again. Like with all these enemies, imagine if you got experience. This game could have been better if they had you gain experience and let you level up your character that way. And then just buy better weapons and armor if you want them. Having that be how you level up is very... I don't know, I don't like that as much. Like... It's like it tried to be like an RPG here, but then it... Kind of failed at it. Get out of here, treasure goblin. Like imagine if you got experience for killing every enemy and then you could use that to level up, you know, your strength or your, your defense or your speed or your magic. I think that would be better. Give you something for killing all these enemies that they always throw at you. Rather than like an occasional item that you might need. Because like you don't get any better from killing any of these things. Out of here. I'm gonna be very careful about how I'm doing things here. See, that moves great, but you can never pull it off because you're a sitting duck when you do it. See how I just lost all my health doing it? Because they're able to hit me while I'm doing it. So it's like, I don't even get the point of even trying it. There we go. It's just like there's so many things wrong with this combat. So now we can maybe fight the King Cobra as soon as a stupid treasure goblin is. It's like you have to constantly be dodging because there's always an attack that's coming in right where you're standing. Alright. This is our good chance here. Look at this. Look, look at all this area here of attack. I have like nowhere to go now. Here, have some of that. Get out of there, get out of there. That's the move that can kill us really fast. See? Oof. We cannot get caught up in that. Look at the t What? That hyena just appeared here. Great. So they are gonna, like, respawn. Come on. Can't catch a break here.
kill him. Maybe. Shoot. What? Come on, die. Oh my gosh. Run out of omelets already. All that money spent. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a game, huh? I'm about to give up on this game. It's just losing its fun for me. It had so much charm in the beginning. Now it's making you do the dumbest things. If the developers work on another game, or like, say, Katari Fables 2, yeah, there's so much more that they can improve on. Hopefully they do. The charm is great. Problem is... They wanted to make this, like, an action game, like Zelda or something. Legend of Zelda, like the original one. But with this combat and the imbalances of how you level up, Makes that, well, impossible. Just doesn't work. And how many enemies they throw at you. See, Zelda had good combat, the old one. Right. Put this back. Probably wants me to have like more magic spells and stuff too, but I don't know. The, the spells don't seem to really do much anyways. Like they're they're pretty weak, the ones I've gotten. And a lot of the time you don't have time to even get your spells off. Because if you're in the middle of doing a spell, you can't like dodge out of it, usually. And the enemies will just hit you. Like you'll be in their red vicinity of, of hitbox. And yeah, there's nothing you can do but just take the hit. With how weak we are, makes it even harder. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. figure it out. I mean, I just wish, like, there was, like, a way to kind of trigger the next, um, main mission, too. Like, I really like the music in the game. I love, like, a lot of the, the stuff here that you gotta do. I'm not interested in leveling up my tools, because it's probably... What? Ugh, do I have to? I just took a mission, another side mission. Upgrade my tools, yeah, what do I need for that? Probably stuff that I can't even... Solar bars. Look at that. I don't know. I don't think I have to do this one. That's only if we really want to like invest in farming, which... I honestly don't care. I'm only farming when the game tells me to. Upgrade the watering can. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, 
I don't even have nearly enough money. I can't even do that right now, so whatever. Let's just... Now we have a mission up the mountain tunnel entrance. Where did that come from? Guess we're going up there. Hopefully that's a main one, or maybe that's where we have to get the pearl. I don't know. Guess we'll figure it out. This is where we gotta be, so let's see. Maybe maybe this is where we get the pearl. But it's oh maybe it's from Olaf over there. Judge! Oh my gosh, what the heck? Look at this, of course, another area with twenty-five enemies at once. You freaking stun me, too. I'm already stiff as a board here, the way these characters move. that it always starts me way back in my home when I have to travel all the way back there. Can it just start me? Yeah, they got me with the freeze too. Like they freeze you, they stun you. You already have a tough time as it is moving around and dodging, let alone when you're getting handicapped. Ugh. I don't know what this anymore. I, I feel like I feel like I'm so tied down right now. I need items I can't get. I need money I, I can't get. I need, um, you know, better armor, better weapons I can't get. Oh, man, I don't know. The sun, I wish I knew where the sunstones were at. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I thought this game was going to be really chill today. I mean, this game used to be chill, but it's definitely not anymore. Everybody needs some specifically rare item. And I have to do it in order to, like, complete their mission. I need this one specific thing in this one specific location from this really tough enemy. If you don't get it for me, then it's too bad. We can go after Olaf again. There, fire should hurt him. Forgot I have no healing items right now. Because when you die, it doesn't replenish your healing items that you used. It just you lose all that, and then you get sent back. What? I died? How'd I die? <laughs> Did I freeze to death? I was behind him. <sighs> oh, this game really, really doesn't want me to like it anymore.
Okay. Take any healing items I have. Pineapples should be done fairly soon. say about this game anymore. Uh, also buy a bunch of croissants because they're cheap. But they don't restore that much health. This is what we got to do. Again, I, there's no main missions popping up, so I'm kind of just stuck trying to get these ridiculously hard side missions done. I just don't randomly die again. What? They just wiped out my whole health. There's like 10 more of them, of course. Come on, I gotta get rid of all these other enemies so I can fight Frosty the Snowman. What, one hit? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. I can't with this game anymore, I just can't do it. I'm trying, but I can't do it. It's, it's, it's just... Not, not fun anymore. Uh, one hit? Are you kidding me? Like, why do I have a health bar? 
Why did I upgrade my armor at all? If you, if the developers, if you guys make this a second game, <laughs> either refine the combat completely or just get rid of it or don't use it as much, I would. That'd be my advice <laughs> for them. <laughs> Everything else is good, like the farming's fine, the, the the towns are great, the characters, the music, very charming. Um, but and then I'll, I'd probably either like incorporate some kind of leveling up system or just to make it easier to acquire like armor and weapons so that you can have a fighting chance against these enemies. It's too tedious to like gather all the materials and kill all the enemies you need to get said materials without dying a million times first. Put that in there. Um, I don't know. I don't have enough money to do anything. I can't even like finish the uh, the missions to make money. Right now. Just wait for the pineapple to be done, I guess. Maybe the pineapple will be done tomorrow. I'm just gonna go to sleep and see if I can get the pineapple done to get us some money or whatever. Maybe that'll unlock another mission. The thing that Porsche does way better than this game too is um is the combat. I mean Porsche has combat, yeah, but it's not overly used, but it's like everything relies on it. Um It's like there's those specific dungeons that you go to to fight. And then, yeah, there's a few enemies scattered around the world, but a lot of them are like animals that don't even fight back. So you're just gathering them for supplies. So that's something that, like, I don't know, this game. You know, like I said, it's, it's a good game. It could have just been a little better balanced, I guess. Thanks to the hydration dev, uh, tea. We're gonna have another sip of the tea. But I'm no game tester, so I don't know. Because that's just my opinion on this. Um, I think it's a really good game, but man, it's just the combat is... Not the best. Um, wait, who am I giving the pineapples to, by the way? Oh, Kelly. That's right. Alright, so we'll go over there. That's fine, because I want to go see if I can get uh, the mushroom hat, because that might be... Better than that. I want that, do I? <laughs> what for this game? <laughs> I don't want that. You're right. I just want to stop it here and see. This armor situation. 15 toadstools, 2,000 paw pennies. Um, actually, that isn't even better than what I'm wearing. That just has magic defense.
It'd be better to get the iron armor so we just get more health and defense uh, against everything. Uh, but it's, we need clay and iron stone and a ton of ball pennies. It's like, my gosh, we'd have to kill so many. That's the thing, you need clay, and then how do you get clay? You have to kill those ridiculously hard trees that surround you. So by the time you fight them and get your armor, it's like, what are you even getting the armor for? Because you already fought the hard enemies with the armor. It's like, that's, that's the imbalance I'm talking about. It's like, it makes you fight these hard enemies to get better armor so you can fight the harder enemies, but you're already doing that to get the materials, so what's the point? So this doesn't make sense. Okay, 34 told stools. Wow. Definitely have enough of that. So we'll get the pineapples. Give me the pineapples, here we go. Can you give this to Pickle? Alright. I'll give it. I'll give it over there. Da -da -da. It will take Pickle, I just realized Pickle talks to himself, or herself, in the first person. Ah, I'm looking for a miracle fruit. Please help Pickle to get one. Where is it? It's probably some ridiculous monster that I have to defeat to get it. Knowing this game. We still haven't even completed the mission, so I don't get anything for this. Uh, pineapple target, get miracle fruits. Boss monsters drop more. Tch. Great. That's another one of those. So two of the missions we have are having to defeat those stupid boss monsters. Like the turtle dude we fought earlier. That we can't do because we don't have enough health and upgrade. But we can't get that materials because the other enemies that we need that from wreck us too. So. Clay. 30 clay and like 6,000 paw pennies. Like nobody's giving me any money for any of these things I'm doing right now. I don't know. I don't know what this game Should I just start selling everything I own? It's like you really can't sell things because you end up needing every stupid little item in this game. Oh, I need blue mucus for this, or you know, I need you know, 25 toadstools. So it's like I'd like to sell a lot of this stuff, but I might need it. The second I sell it, it's probably one I'll end up needing it. So. Not as fun as it used to be this game when we first started playing. It's become the ultimate tedious task of everything. This should have been called Kataria Tediousness. Clay, iron. I can't even transfer my items between each chest either. I have to actually go with them. So 30 clay, 30 ironstone or something. None here. And six thousand paw pennies. Which is gonna take a while to save up for. Dude. 
because I have to spe keep spending my money on healing items because I'm getting destroyed out there. So I iron stone. I only have eight iron stone. Drop by orcs and golems. You have to go kill a bunch of them to get that. I have to go kill a bunch of the trees to get the clay. It's not even. It's just like. It's just not, it's not well put together. They're trying to make it as least fun as possible right now. How much clay do I have? Five, that's it. <laughs> oh boy. Could I sell? I'm just gonna sell the sweet corn, the meat. I need to make money. Like I have to sell some stuff that I might not want to, but sell these bat wings. These stingers. Those vines, because I don't have more of those. I don't think I'm going to get much money for that, but whatever. Um, I guess we're going to go fight orcs, a million orcs, a million trees to gather clay and iron stone. That sounds like fun. Until they kill me, and then... I keep doing it up rinse and repeat. have to also remember where each enemy is because some enemies are only on spe one specific spot on the map and you gotta go find them and you gotta kill them and you gotta hope that they drop what you need like I need to fight all these things here I need I'm looking for clay and iron stone worry about the money issue after that. It's a little bit of, one clay. There we go. I need like 50 of them. That means you have to keep coming back here, reloading the page. heal each other too just to make it more tedious let's have them all heal each other so it takes even longer to kill them because I can't fight them all at once so if they want to heal each other that's not much I can do about it they keep attacking We didn't die there. Any more? Again, it comes down to combat.
Combat heavy guitar, yeah. <sighs> if we can collect the clay and the iron stone, we'll have to figure out if we can get the money somehow. You think the golem clay is just their poop? Probably. That's what they shit. We gotta, we gotta take it, and we gotta use it. Lucky us. Oh my gosh, get out of here, trees. Iron, so I forget how much we needed. I think we need like I'm gonna save up around 30 of each, I guess. these guys drop, I have a chance of dropping uh, both the items that we need right now. That's the one good thing here. We don't have to go to two different enemies to get these. If we can just go to them. Then if we want to upgrade our armor again, we might need more of this or some other material that we have to go find to get. So it's like... Again, if we had the better armor now, obviously we could fight these guys and push forward, but I don't know. It makes you fight the enemies that you're trying to defeat. Uh, that you need better armor for. We have to fight them first before we can even get the armor. Imagine if, like, in Elden Ring, say, like, there was a boss that, like, required you to have said armor to beat said boss. But it makes you fight that boss in order to get that armor that you need. That's kind of, kind of what this is like to me, if that makes any sense. These guys drop clay too? Oh no, it's just sap. if we can get like one more armor upgrade maybe one more sword upgrade i might be able to take on almost anything but I don't know some of those monster bosses the boss monsters are very difficult okay we have 21 clay 18 yeah we're getting there 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's weird they make you do that. It's like they're... The way it's set up is, is kind of weird. I don't know. Like I said, there's definitely a lot of more good things about this game than bad, but the bad things really, like, <laughs> really weigh on you. I mean, obviously it's not a perfect game. It's an indie game, you know? You can kind of forgive it for most things, because it's... You know, this is a smaller development team. They're just trying to make something that they're, you know, passionate about and proud of. You could tell there was love put in the game, for sure. I think if they were to make another one, they just need to work out a few kinks, if I were them. Personally, I don't know, maybe other people feel differently. I would like to see them make another one of these. This game's got a lot more potential to it, too. Like, they could straight up make the second one like a, a Zelda, like an old-school Zelda type of game if they wanted to. It seems to be what they're kind of going for with these sections, but it just doesn't... I don't know, it just doesn't work. It's like... So once we're super upgraded, it's like then these enemies will be too easy and then it'll be like, what's the point of even fighting them anymore? We won't even need to because we'll just be like done with the game by then. thing reset again because now my stream said welcome to the chat to me so <laughs> did it didn't like glitch out again uh, is twitch gonna like stop us from streaming today or the internet let's go back here so i've been streaming this game for a little over an hour Um, even though it's showing that it's been a 48 minute stream, so it's kind of weird, it's reset. Yeah, the recording's all together as one, so that's good. Alright, so we're gonna keep grinding these guys, I guess. Until we get what we need, then we're gonna try and make some money, I suppose. They're gonna kill me soon. Look at these trees poison me. I don't think I have enough quite yet. 21 and 27. No, I need, I think I need like 30 ironstone or something. heal with just that oh shoot I didn't realize that filled me all the way up I need the sandwiches I gotta reset twitch on my phone now but does the stream keep dying guys Let's see what it shows now. Right. Probably should be good now. So we'll definitely switch games today. I'm, I don't think we'll be playing this the whole stream. It's because like this is just this is too tedious.
Give me more iron stone. Isn't that great? They just keep healing each other. I can't even see where my character is. Just surrounded by stone giants. Oh man, dude. What is happening? I don't know if we have enough iron stone yet. Yeah. You have to keep doing this to reset them to see how many show up and then... Question is what game? What other game do we play today? I mean, I kind of feel like we could place a little bit more Mario Strikers too for a bit, because that's always fun. Um, maybe we'll do more Dolmen. Maybe we'll do Diddy Kong Racing. As it, as it stands, this is a game we're probably not going to beat for a long time. The way this is going. In fact, this game could end up taking us longer than Eternal Sonata. We're getting coal as well from those guys. I, I, I like if they just keep giving me Iron Stone. Still have extra clay left over. Ice magic is really strong against them. For once, our magic is coming in handy. You can't heal him now, he's dead. back in one more time and see. <clears throat> what do we have? 27. We have 40 clay now, so we'll have extra. I didn't remember how much iron stone I needed. I thought it was like around 30, but maybe it's not even close to that. Eat that sandwich now. Stone. There we go. 
go a little bit more. Yeah, no problem, Starjun. Yeah. Um, finished watching 21 Jump Street. Oh, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy, man. Yeah, I'll be on for a little while, I think, uh, still, depending on how the internet holds up and everything, and Twitch. I do plan on playing at least another game today. Hey, thanks for coming in, man. Hopefully, uh, we'll see you a little bit later. Enjoy. Hell, I'll probably still be here grinding these things. We're grinding something for some ridiculous material I need. I think this strip will be enough and we can just... See, can't see the enemies. It's too dark. Well, hopefully, this is enough. Hopefully, hopefully. You know what, these orcs will drop more iron stone, actually. If we want to gather even more, because we might need it for something else. Yeah, they drop iron stone. Meat and to tokens. fight this guy because we might need him for I don't know if we've ever beaten this guy yet Fire's definitely doing good on him. Just keep hitting him with that. So he might have something we need. me one more time I might die so there we go what did he drop a uh, copper key a fire sphere did he drop a sunstone holy crap he did wow all right that's probably from like so if he, what if he could be the only thing in the game that gives me a sunstone? You'd have to fight him. How many times to get the sunstones you need? Oh, that would suck. All right, let's head back. area like can we get in this cave yet like there's probably a relic in here nope. 
This is probably my favorite music track in the game. We haven't heard it in a while. OBS is now is now going crazy, guys. Hang on. Yeah, now I'm losing connection to OBS. I think it's still streaming, but my gosh. It almost just shut the stream down. What is going on? In fact, I think the stream did die. Did the stream die? Or did it just reset again? Shoot. Yeah, we're getting some issues today. OBS says reconnection successful. I might have to like restart everything, guys. Which means we'll probably just um, end this episode of this game here today. And then just put another game. I've kind of like... Uh, this game really isn't... Uh, Engaging me as much as um as it once was, to be honest. Like I really liked it the first, you know, two times we put it in, and now it's just getting to the point where it's. I said probably it's the tediousness I think that is really doing it. All right, coal, a lot of clay, a lot of ironstone, one sunstone, the copper key. Put the sap there. Uh, maybe we have enough. Yeah, I think the stream reset again, guys. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna play this for a little bit longer just to see if it holds up. Then we'll probably. Put something else in. If the internet continues to be bad or Twitch, whatever it is that's causing this, you um, might not be able to stream anymore today. Which would be a shame. And we need some. We need some uh, some healing items too. Did we make any money? We made a little bit of money from selling that stuff. Look at a little bit, but we have to spend anyways just to get more food. But we need uh, we need to save our money though because we have to get if we want better armor we need six thousand coins. Six thousand. Like, I don't know what to sell and what not to sell. I don't know. This will sell the onions, too. That we have. Because we're not being able to like complete missions right now, so we aren't getting money for that. Dude. Mr. Bear. So we need 10,000 paw pennies to upgrade our sword again, and we need another sunstone. It's like, my gosh. I mean, a miracle fruit. 
and we need what else? So Westpaw Field. Maybe that's where the miracle fruit is. Maybe it's that enemy. Let's we'll take a look. Like we just need to complete another mission to get some more paw pennies or whatever. Like this is ridiculous. Every mission is like a branch of like 40 things. I need this. Oh yeah, then I need this. And I also need this. And then you can give this to this person. And then they're going to need 50 things. And then so on. That's what it feels like too. Let's see if we can find this, uh, this boss monster. No, uh, no, it's not gonna be up here, and then it's gonna be. So there's probably gonna be a couple stream vods on on Twitch today, guys. It could be pretty confusing and annoying, I know, because of all the uh, the resets of the stream. But I'll leave them up there. If anybody does want to like watch those at all of any here we go maybe this is what gives us the fruit the king gooey Pretty good against him. What? How do I swing through him? Should be able to beat him. Your reign as king will be over. Didn't we already have one of those? I swear we already had one of those. Yes, I, I probably already have one of those. I don't know. Now we have two. <sighs> I haven't had coffee today. So I'm yawning. Uh, we don't have any cream or sugar here. I don't particularly like my coffee black. I mean, sometimes it's alright, but I have to be in the mood for that. I usually like a flavored creamer in there. No sugar, just a flavored creamer. Um, need my coffee. So I'm gonna sip of the tea. All right. Yeah, so we're gonna switch games soon, and we're probably gonna take a short break. And uh, yeah, I'll put in something else. Uh, I don't. I don't really know what I'm gonna put in yet. Uh, Dolmen, maybe, or I don't know. Maybe we'll play a little bit of Mario Strikers for a bit, and then switch again. Oh, nice. We just got 2,000 paw pennies for that. That was actually really good. And another 500. Alright, so, the iron armor, we have more than we need for the materials, we just need the money. We are short on the money. We have about half of it, a little more than half of it, like, ugh. 
So the only way to get money is to complete more missions. Pearl we need by killing Olaf to get the pearl, which we can't do right now. Um, a couple Earth Spears there, Put these there, that there. Maybe I should sell the pineapple tart, like why not, right? I'm also going to sell these insect wings. And that mucus. I'm going to sell this cotton shirt because I don't need that. Um, yeah. Make some money real quick. Because now we still need the pearl for pumpkin. And then we need to do... What else are we doing still? I don't know upgrade the watering can which I don't I don't really want to do that farm task like I'm not even get much for it so you know, this is it's basically teaching you to upgrade your farm stuff it's like no kiki don't want to do that and to upgrade our sword the gladiator sword we need silver we need, basically need another sunstone and I think we have the silver bars, the ingot, um, and then we have, we need a heck of a lot more money after that. So that ain't happening anytime soon. So I'm saying, you need to do, you need to kill all these enemies, do all these tasks to even get what you need to upgrade something. By then it's like, what's the point? Because you're already like, destroyed everything you needed to destroy. We'll do, we'll sell all this to make more money. That'll be good. Um, yeah, that's all part of the same thing. And then upgrading the watering can. Which again, I don't even really want to do, so. That's like if you want to like really focus on farming, which I don't. Um, the farming's like whatever in this game. It's like, I guess that's only if you really, really want to use farming to make your money. But you do have to wait like several days for the stuff to grow. So it's not a fast way to do it, but. I don't even know what we could do now then. Yeah, the only mission is to get that pearl right now. That we want to do. And then, I said there's no other main missions popping up. So I'm really, really befuddled by the fact that there aren't any. Any other main missions popping up. When I know there's more to be done. But the game's choosing when to give me these missions now. It's, it's like when you just gotta wait and wait and wait. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. If we go up and try and fight the snowman, we're gonna die. Because some of those enemies kill us in one shot. But we have to do it to get the money for this mission. It's like... How else are we going to make money here? Besides farming, but... Uh, West Paul Field, um... Let me go back up here. I don't really don't know what to do. If only you could take fire to make the snowman melt. Yeah, exactly. Multi apples. Melt Frosty the snowman. That would be nice. <laughs> I 
You have beaten the Plague Tale too. Oh, really? How was that one? Hey, wasn't that up for Game of the Year? That was like on the... Um, it was on the nominations, wasn't it? Which is pretty surprising. Did you bring us some food? No, I didn't bring you food. Looking to see if there's a task up here. It was a depressing game. The story was kind of sad. Dun -dun. All right. Like over here, like maybe if we mine this, maybe there's good stuff in there. I'm gonna try mining some of this to see what it is. <laughs> There could be gold here, there could be... I don't think there's going to be sunstones. I think we can only get those from fighting that orc dude. Yeah, gold, silver, copper, everything, basically. Oh, you played it too? Nice. I haven't played either of the Plague Tale games yet, anyways. So, at least we have some more of that stuff if we need it. Both games are good. Yeah, they, I've heard good things about them. For sure. Definitely have. You guys are hoping they make another one? I mean, if a game does well... Most likely they're going to make another one these days. Oh, here we go. Look at this guy. Here's another boss thing. Careful these guys. They can kill me in one hit. Oh, yeah, that's right. I lose health by, by hitting them. Which doesn't make sense to me. When I hit them with my melee, it causes damage to me. Love that. But yeah, every every game like franchise now almost has another one in, in its franchise, basically because if it does well enough. And it's popular enough, like developers will just say, yeah, let's just make another one. Like this up here is probably where another relic is going to be, or another... But like... I don't know, it just won't appear, I don't know what to do here. Maybe I gotta kill these guys to make it appear. I don't know. Or a specific mission will come up when it's ready. It's the only way I can fight these dudes. What sucks is that you gain mana from landing melee attacks. So what happens when you can't hit this guy because melee hurts you when you hit him? Let's see if we can fight these big guys without getting hurt. Build up some mana that way. Whoa. And I'm dead. It's all it takes. One hit from those guys and you die. Oh. There's a 
don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll just go to sleep and sell all that stuff right there. Let's see what kind of money we get for that. Or we need 6,000 to upgrade our armor. 6,000. Let's go to sleep and see. That will just give us more health and a, better, a little bit better defense, but... Yeah, we didn't make nearly enough, did we? I mean, we made some good money, but... Oh, we do! We have 6,000! Like, almost on the dot. Wow. Okay. Now we can actually upgrade our armor again after all that grinding. And selling of all this stuff. Now let's go do that. It's going to be all of our money and a lot of our materials that we gathered, but whatever. I still feel like Frosty Snowman would wreck us here. Alright, we gotta go to Rivera Fortress. So what I think we'll do is we'll throw in Mario Strikers for a little bit after this. Um, maybe. I kind of feel like playing some of that. And then we'll do... Um, I don't know. Because we're not going to play that very long. Uh, here we go. Iron Armor. It's his ours. Here we go, our health is now 120, and we have better physical and magic defense as well. And upgrade again, we need 50 obsidian, 3 turtle shells, 2 turtle doves, and a partridge. No, now we need paw pennies as well. 15,000 paw pennies. Oh my gosh. I don't think we're going to be upgrading our armor again. Obsidian, I think we have some of that, but 50. And we'll leave some of this stuff here. There we go. So we have, we have four obsidian right there. I'm at 50, man. Drop by Arnett. So that's like the uh, some of the enemies over in the sand area, the beach area. I dropped that. Ugh. At least we've got better better health. Um, like I don't even know what we're gonna be doing when we come back to this game. Like. I guess just trying to beat this stupid snowman. I'm gonna give him a try right now. We'll try the snowman one more time. After we lose, I'll probably end this Katari Fables part. It just seems like we haven't really gotten anywhere with this. the stone fiends you gotta worry about more than anything. No, oh, I accidentally hit him.
So I gotta remember not to hit him with my sword because it damages me for whatever reason. Oh, here he is. I need to get rid of him first, though. There we go. Okay. Come on over here. See, a lot of the trouble with fighting these boss monsters is not them themselves. Particularly, it's, it's the other enemies that show up and just... Are just getting in the way. Like, look at this. They just keep coming. And they force you to, like, run away or do something else. And it really sucks. Like, I can't fight him when I'm focused on fighting these stupid things. These stone fiends are just everywhere. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's like we're playing Dolman again with all the enemies that show up in that game. This, oh my, there's three of them. And I need magic to kill them, and I can't gain magic without melee attacks. So, like, again, where's the balance with this? Uh, this isn't fair. I can't, I literally can't attack them now. Without hurting myself. And that really sucks. Poor design choice. Again. I have to fight the other enemies that I can hit. And there's like 8,000 of these stone fiends. And all I want to do is just fight the snowman, really. Combat's tedious. <laughs> you have to like always be dodging almost. Look at all the enemies now. Like they just spawned like a million in here. What? <laughs> what? Come on, game. This is bad. This is bad. Poor, poor game design here. That's all I'm gonna say. Could have been better. It's just really stupid, the fact that I can't hit the stone fiends with my sword. Ah, oh, see, I didn't even mean to hit him that time. It just happened to. It's just chaos, absolute. It's a jumbled mess, this, this combat system. I lost health again from accidentally hitting. One of them. <laughs> wow, and on that note, we're going to end uh, this, this episode. <laughs> oh, this game. Nope. I don't think I want to come back to this anytime soon, honestly. I might just take a break from this game. I'm kind of over this. I'm over it. Back to title screen. See ya over it and it's tediousness <sighs> good game with some major flaws I guess that's the best way to, to describe it but we will come back to it eventually I don't know when um, and we'll try to probably not too far down the line uh, we'll, we'll keep playing this and try to make some progress but um, yeah when the game makes it this tedious to, to try and progress at all it's just not fun it just isn't fun you know it just takes takes the life out of you it really does and the way the combat is is just not well put together but we will come back nonetheless Kataria fables hopefully it'll get good again at some point um 
because the game started out really fun and charming. But once it started relying too much on combat, that's where the game fails. It's like it literally just took the combat and was like, you know what, let's flush that out as much as possible. Let's have every task and every item you need pretty much relate to doing combat. And the combat isn't that good, so... And it's very, like, it's rinse and repeat. It's like, you just swing a little bit, dodge, dodge, dodge. Maybe use magic, dodge. Swing, dodge. And it's just, it's, it's not even, like, fun combat. After a while, it gets very, you know, monotonous. Um... That's just, again, this is my opinion of it, but um, there's things that I think could have been done better here. Uh, but it's still, I still like the game. I'm not like saying it's a bad game. I still think it's a good game. I, I really love the charm and the, the music and the world of Kataria or whatever the name of the town is. The, air, the world is, I should say. Um, I will, yeah, we'll come back to it. Don't worry, my friends. Uh, anyways, I hope you're enjoying Kataria Fables, and thanks for those that have watched it. Appreciate it.